Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chris Cooper, known as the Channel Guy Trader, and I'm reporting to you live from Wall Street Trading's Miami office down in sunny South Florida. Today's date is Wednesday, August the 7th, 2013, and here is today's midday market update brought to you by WallStreetTrading.com. I want to remind you guys, if you have not been to the website yet, go check it out. There's a lot of free education information on the site for you all. At the same time, if you're interested in checking out our chat room, our live intraday chat room, MyWallStreetTV.com, you can contact me at ccooper at WallStreetTrading.com. Or if you would like to find out details on how you could join our firm or take our education course, you can contact me at the same email address. So let's go ahead and break down uh, the market here first, taking a look to see how the indices are trading so far for the session. The Dow's down 76 points off the lows. The NASDAQ is down 25 points off of the lows. The Russell 2000 is down close to 8. The S&P is down 9.5. We take a look at the commodity space here. Commodities are starting to turn back positive. They were kind of mixed here, but now we have silver, SLV up three cents, uh, JJC copper up nine cents, GDX gold miners up 33 cents, GLD gold up 32 cents, crude oil via the USO still down 15 cents. We take a look at the top sectors on the ETF list from Change from Open. We have the gold miners. They're up about close to two percent from the opening price. The volatility index of VXX is up about. A point and a half from the opening price. Utilities are at the top of the list. TZA is at the top of the list, meaning that the Russell 2000 is weak. Um, FAZ, that's an inverse financials. That means financials are the weakest index sector today. Well, one of them in the top five here. Silver is up there. MOO is up at the top of the list as well. As some of those uh, agriculture stocks were making some nice moves this morning. MGM's making a nice move. Some other names. But at the bottom of the ETF change from open list, we have XBI, which is the biotech stocks. We have XHB, the home builders. We have XRT, the retail stocks. So it's going to break down the charts and take a look at what's going on here. Starting off with the ES intraday chart here, we have a 30-minute chart on the left-hand side, 15-minute chart in the middle, and 5-minute chart on the right-hand side. 30-minute chart, to break this down real quick, 30-minute chart, we were, we were weak all the way from overnight. I mean, pretty much, you take a look at what happened yesterday, guys. We sold off pretty hard in the afternoon, I mean, sorry, in the morning. We traded sideways, and then when we should have broke down in the morning to trade right back to the downside, they ended up just chopping the market up and, you know, giving us a boring close. Also, they could run it down overnight and not allow us to participate because, I mean, we all knew this next leg was coming down, right? I mean, the pattern here is heavy, heavy volume in the morning, light volume on the run up, and then we had another bearish pattern about to set up here, and they just ended up giving us a garbage close. It actually kind of ticked me off a little bit yesterday. In any case, they sold the market down overnight, and then we had this nice little rising, uh, I guess you could say rising trend line right here that broke, a little bear flag action, and we sold all the way to the downside, 1681. You guys know 1680 has been a hardcore level from last week, and we continue to hold it at 1681 uh, again here. All right, take a look at the 15-minute chart. All right, and again, we give these levels, we give some key levels out on our Facebook page. All right, if you want to follow us on Facebook on our company page you can go to Wall Street Trading you can see all the information and analysis that we post pre-market but on the 15 minute chart same thing you know broke below this overnight low right here at 1685 sellers came in once we broke that low sold off and now we're rallying back up and as always volume has died off volume tends to die off here in the summer trading around 10 15 10 30 and then it starts to decline and then since the trend is down Right now, we're going to wait to see if that volume picks back up in the morning. To, I'm sorry, in the afternoon session to the downside. Five minute chart analysis here, real quick. Same thing. Rallied up, sold down, break below the level right low of support. Sold to 1680, flashed down and made a new low. Stuck against some people that were trying to short the low of the day, which is not what you want to do. Broke the little trend line up, and so far we've been making a make making a nice push to the top side with this little higher pivot low being made here. So you can also draw a little upward channel as well on this five minute chart to kind of use it as a gauge um, to watch to see if it gets up towards those levels in the afternoon session. All right, and uh, let's break down these ETFs here real quick since I know some of you guys watch the futures and some of you guys watch the ETFs today. All right, we talked about that 169 level on the SPY yesterday. That 169 level broke, so the next target was 168. We stopped at 168.60. And uh, we're below this declining 8 EMA right here on the 15-minute chart of the SPY. And right now, short-term support for today is 168.60. Short-term resistance right here around 169 or so. Opening price resistance will be around here around 169.20, which also lines up with the declining 20 
uh, EMA on the chart there. Okay, take a look at the triple Qs. Broke below the previous day's lows, that green line, and pretty much momentum came in. All right, have they, on the triple Qs, the level that we're going to be watching for in the short term here, if we continue to sell off, it's going to be that key 75 level. If you guys recall, 75 was a range that we were trading before we broke out, so that will be an area we're looking for a back test if we do get down there in the coming days or coming weeks, if so. All right, but right now, the triple Qs, short-term resistance is right here around the 76.21 area. Support 75.90. Higher pivot lows being made. Heavy selling volume in the morning. Light volume died out. We'll see if this retrace and tries to put a lower high in somewhere. IWM, Russell 2000, leading us down today. Gap down, broke below previous day's lows. Sold off, stopped at this 103.64 area. I believe the level we talked about on the Russell 2000 on the daily chart was 103. So in the coming days, coming weeks, we'll be looking. If it gets down there, we'll be using that level as the next support level to watch. And we'll go over everything again in the After the Bell uh, Market Summary video. All right, so what were some stocks that we were watching today? Let's take a look here. Let's take a look. Some stocks that we were watching today. We actually had a good trade here. And we had actually not a good trade. We actually had a great trade We had a great trade in DVN, Devon Energy. Let me bring the chart up for you guys here real quick. And that trade was posted on our Facebook page. And I'll show you guys how we traded it here. Just get it up real quick. All right, so Devon Energy, they reported earnings this morning. The stock you know, was showing some weakness on the open. Tried to rally. Couldn't break above the opening price. So it became a stock that we were looking to fade. All right, you can see that also you can see a nice little symmetrical triangle right here on the five minute chart. And once that broke, we got short at six at 56.83, and we were able to walk it down all the way to 56. And then some traders are even able to walk it down all the way to 55.43. All right, that's one trade that we were able to trade this morning and do pretty well in. If you take a look at our Wall Street Trading Facebook page, all right, I'll show you guys actually how we traded it here. Bring this up. Again, if you don't have a Facebook, we also have uh, Google Plus as well. Because I know some of the people out there don't like, do not like to use Facebook. So you can see we called it for a short right here, 56.83. Covered some 56.30. I covered my last piece at 55.90 or so. And uh, you know all this stuff is documented in our chat room before the trade happens, so we can give everybody a chance to get in with the risk management procedures and everything in place. Again, if you want to get access to our chat room, mywallstreettv.com. Contact me at C Cooper at Wall Street Trading. And uh, I'll give you guys the access codes to get in. Or you can also go to the uh, home page of our website and fill out the form on the right-hand side. So that was one trade. We had a couple traders in the room that were trading uh, First Solar, FSLR. This one made a nice move to the downside as they, did, they didn't uh, meet expectations on their earnings report. All right. And it's been fading the whole day. All right. And this one was actually a good setup. All right. We got short on the break of this low. Looking forward to make a move down, but of course they rallied it up and stopped everybody out before they marked it back down. And they gave you another entry to get short if you got stopped out on that first attempt to try to short the low break. Gave you another entry to get short at once it uh, broke down out of this little range right there and then gave a nice little trade. Aside from that, folks, that's about it. We're watching some other names out there, but again, to get those names, you have to make sure you make your way to our chat room, mywallstreettv.com. Have a great day. Catch you guys with the After the Bell Market Summary video. Cheers.